My name is Carl Powley. I don't really have a job title, but I think people would suggest that I study human movement. Movement is really everything. If we're not moving, we're probably sleeping in a coma or dead. And that's a problem. But we're constantly in this thing. We're constantly moving. And if you just start looking at it and paying attention to it, you start realizing that it affects everything around us. I know a lot of people out there think, you know, why do they kip? Why do they do things this way? And why that way? And why for time? And this is dangerous and that's bad. And who says that that's bad? And that's going to get you injured. Well, I don't know any pro athlete that has not had some sort of injury. I don't know anyone in any kind of specialty out there that hasn't had some nagging pain or something. I don't know anyone out there that's moved a certain way for the first time and not looked awkward to the point where you're like, okay, maybe you should not be doing that. What is good? What is bad? How do you define that? What is strength? What is skill? And what does that really mean? Well, that's what we're trying to figure out. And if you have the secret and the solution, then come and talk to me because I'm trying to figure it out. And that secret, it's almost like asking, you know, what is the meaning of life? I have no clue. But I do know a couple things. I do know that training is good. The body is meant to move. Lifting heavy things is good. We're supposed to do that. We're supposed to do things fast. We're supposed to do things slow. We're supposed to suffer a little bit so we can get better at other things. And, and these are just parts of the process. What's cool about CrossFit for me is that CrossFit is really a freestyle strength and conditioning program. It brings in all these different domains and it allows me to practice squatting in a million different ways under different loads, different reps, for different periods of time and it's all according to purpose. If you listen to what CrossFitters are saying, they're saying, hey, we're trying to increase your work capacity. What does that even mean? Well, that just means, can I do more movement for longer periods of time? If I'm an athlete and I come in to do CrossFit, Basically what I'm looking for is give me the foundation of movement and make me really good at being able to do the fundamentals for long, long periods of time. Then what I specialize in is taking that foundation and translate it into the specific sport. Now, we have things that are controversial like kipping pull-ups. You should have a prerequisite of strict pull-ups before you do kipping. Or people from the outside world of CrossFit, they say kipping is dumb. Why would you do kipping? That's dangerous and it's gonna injure you. Well, it's simple. If you look at any kind of programming and you talk to any kind of strength coach or a track and field athlete, they do, in the strength and conditioning room, they do some heavy stuff where they go under heavy load and then they do some dynamic stuff where they go under less heavy load and they try to move as fast as they can. Why do they do that? Well, if you've ever sprinted before and try to sprint as fast as possible and you've hit that limit, you probably realize that you physically want to and mentally want to do it, but you physically can't. The body just shuts down. So by going into the strength and conditioning room, which is the lab, I can put you under load so you can get into more tension inside. And that means at a muscular level, or even how to become more energy efficient. But taking that load and then applying it back to sprinting, once you try to sprint again and you hit that limit, because you've been under that peak tension, muscular tension, under heavy load, you can actually apply it to that sprint. And then all of a sudden when you hit that limit, you have an extra gear, you have a little bit more speed. And that's how you start breaking the barriers. So is strength and conditioning the solution? No, not necessarily. It's not the only solution, it's a solution. So that's the first thing is, if you're a specialist, you may have discovered some things, you have a solution, not the solution, which is very different. People only see one slice of the pie. 
they don't see the whole pie. They only see the tip of the iceberg when in reality there's so much more underneath it. And uh, that's what we're all about. It's about saying, hey, it's okay to do any movement, but now let's justify why through purpose. And let's also figure out how does this actually translate into other things. These unique movement expressions that we see in different disciplines are signature movements. And those signature movements are the ones that usually jump into the media or jump into people's minds and attention. And the first thing they do as normal human beings is they judge it and they say, that's bad. And they judge it according to their experience and their education. And that's where we go wrong. If we can be open-minded about it and dig in a little deeper and just ask why, you will find the answer. And that's what this is all about. It's about accepting and respecting all the different disciplines of movement and understanding why they do what they do and how they actually serve a purpose at the bigger picture.